in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the NG models October 2020 releases um, without further ado let's get started uh, and this is a typo uh, on NG models Instagram they said that these were October releases so this is just a typo on their website uh, but starting off we have the Malaysia Airlines a350 900 in the normal livery looks uh, nice uh, for those of you who are Asian or Malaysian collectors uh, you guys would be interested in this so it looks pretty interesting uh, registration is 9 Mike Mike Alpha Bravo uh, it is scale 1 to 400 and the price is $57 Moving on the list, we have a Malaysia Airlines, oh, another one, uh, Malaysia Airlines A350. This time it is in the Malaysia Negaraku livery. Uh, so basically, this livery is just, uh, from what it looks like, it's just the Malaysian flag painted onto one of their A350s. Uh, you, it, it's, uh, it's the symbol symbols of Malaysia. You have the Malaysian stripes uh, and the Malaysian star uh, with the Islam what do you call it? Crescent. Um, so this would be also good for you Asian collectors or anybody who collects uh, Malaysia Airlines models. Uh, the registration is 9 Mike Mike Alpha Golf. Uh, it is 1 to 400 scale and the price is $57. This one looks pretty interesting. Uh, this is a EasyJet uh, A350-900. Uh, now in real life, EasyJet do not operate the A350. Uh, they only operate the AT20 family, so that's AT18, 19, 20, 21s, and the Neos. Um, NG model stated on their Instagram a few days ago that this model uh, was just uh, for fun, as like a concept model, you know. Uh, the registration is Golf Alpha 359, basically just the uh, registration for British Aircraft, which is Golf, and then AT5900 in abbreviations. Uh, don't let this fool you, this is not a real registration, this is just. Um, you know, a nice fun model that NG released. Uh, and the price is $57 and it is 1 to 400 scale. Anyway, moving on the list, we have the Air Asia A330 300 in the girls' frontline livery. Now, this looks like some sort of anime livery. Uh, this looks pretty interesting. Um. Uh, this is this is a pretty interesting livery. It's, it's like if I have a little bit of money, I might actually get this because it's like anime, like Chinese, uh, Japanese anime. This is a weird livery. I've I've um I think it's for a TV show. It looks like it's for a TV show, but I don't know. Uh, the registration is nine Mike uh X Ray X Ray Bravo. It's scale one to four hundred and it's priced at fifty five dollars. Uh. Oh, this looks interesting. This is the Iran Air 747SP in the 1980s livery. This this looks this looks interesting. Uh, uh, it is a I, I, Iran Air 747SP in the 1980s livery. Uh, now, I know NG wasn't around in 2015, but they're kind of five years late because Iran Air, either in 2014 or 15, they retired their 747SPs. But this looks like a, a nice livery for those of you who collect Middle Eastern models. Uh, this is for you. Uh, and the registration is Echo Papa India Alpha Bravo. Uh, and it is priced $57. Uh, and it's scale 1 to 400. But that's interesting, though. Uh, that is interesting. It perplexes me that they price a 747SP, something that's half the size of an AT50, maybe even less, at $57, the same price. Uh, that's just me. Anyway, it is in the 1980s livery. And moving on to the next model, we have the Xiamen, 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 I'm just going to call it Xiamen, uh, Xiamen Air 77-9 Dreamliner in the Support the UN livery. Um, now, I know that Xiamen Air is a Chinese airline, obviously based out of Xiamen. Um, I don't know in real life if they actually uh, have this livery um, because... China has quite a rocky relation with the UN in terms of Taiwan and all that. So I don't know. Uh, but this, this, this is kind of an interesting livery for those of you who are Asian collectors or who want who need this model for your European airports. This model is for you. Uh, and the registration is Bravo 1356. So it's Chinese registered aircraft. It is 1 400 scale 
and it is $55. Moving down the line, I know this is going to be popular with you European collectors. We have the Air France 77-9 Dreamliner in uh, just a normal Euro weight in its normal Euro weight livery. Uh, the registration is Foxtrot Hotel Romeo Bravo Golf. Um, no, I honestly like Air France's new livery. It's not really their new livery. They've had this library for a long time, but I just like how they enlarged the titles on the 787 because before the, it was like microscopic here. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, this is the Air France 77-9 uh, Dreamliner in the normal livery. I know it's going to be popular with uh, you guys who get Air France flights uh, in Asia, Africa, um, North America, and in Europe too. So for the, those of you who are any of those types of collectors, I know this is going to be a pretty popular model. Um, like I said, it's Fox Shot Hotel Romeo Bravo Golf. The scale is one to four hundred, and the price is fifty-five dollars. Uh, anywho, moving down the line, we have an Olympus seven fifty-seven uh, two hundred. Uh, this this model is quite interesting because uh, I've never heard of this airline. Um, I've never actually heard of this airline. I think it, there was an airline called Olympic in Greece. I think this, um, um, I think this was, I think uh, I think this is a Greek airline. Uh, there was a major Greek airline called Olympic that connected you know many places around the world. Um, so either this is what remains of Olympic, or. I don't know, um, but the registration is Sierra X-Ray Alpha Mike Juliet. I believe Sierra X-Ray is the registration for Greece, but I'll have to check on that. Uh, but for those of you who are European collectors, uh, um, this is going to be popular with you guys. And the tail looks pretty interesting. It looks like it has a sort of Greek flourish on it, Greek design, but that's just me. Uh, but anyway, the registration of the aircraft is Sierra X-Ray Alpha Mike Juliet. The pr uh, it is 1 to 400 scale. The price is 45.59. And of course, it's coming soon. Oh, this is going to be popular with you Indian collectors. Uh, we have two blue darts. Uh, blue darts 757 and 200s. Um, I know this is going to be really popular with you Indian collectors. Uh, blue dart, I believe, is a Indian cargo airline. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, and basically, these two aircraft are the same thing. Uh, but one is with winglets. The one Victor Tango Bravo Delta Bravo has... Uh, winglets and the one uh, Victor Tango Bravo Delta Alpha does not, so that's really the only difference between the two models. Uh, but I know this will be popular with you and collectors. Finally, oh, I've been wanting to get this model for a long time. I'm probably gonna get this model. It is the Alaska honoring those who serve 737 900. Um, Alaska do fly to Newark. I need an Alaska 737-900, so I'm probably going to get the Honoring Those Who Surf, because this uh, model is really popular when Gemini released it. I know it's going to be really popular now that NG is releasing it, so I'm probably going to have to jump on it when it gets released uh, sometime in late October, early November. Uh, I'm, I'm going to jump on this model. It is the Honoring Those Who Surf library. Um, uh, the registration is November 570 Alpha Sierra, so normal Alaska registration. And I believe... Uh, this livery honors the soldiers who serve for the United States. Uh, Alaska does have this on their E-175s. I don't know if they have it on their 321s. Uh, I don't think they do. Uh, but anyway, here's the honoring those who serve. 737-900. Uh, November 570 AS. Uh, and the price is $45.59. And also has the uh, scimitar winglets. I'm getting two of these, I can tell you right now. This is the United 737-800 in the Blue Evolution livery. Um, I had one from Gemini, but I traded it for United 77-10 in a Continental livery by also by NG. Uh, I had a Gemini just one, but I traded it for a NG United 77-10 in the Continental livery. I am 100% getting this. I'm, I'm probably going to get two of them for Newark uh, as I'm currently building up my 737 fleet. I currently only have one 737 fleet, and that is uh, 737 in my fleet. That is the United Star Alliance 737 800. 
Uh, but wow, I'm getting this. Uh, the registration is November 2, 6, 208. Now, I know this is going to be a really popular model because NG did release this back either in August or 2018 or August 2019. It's a really popular model. NG had so much demand for it, they weren't able to fulfill all orders. Uh, so I'm definitely getting two of these for Newark. Um, and I'm probably gonna get a Gemini just one sometime in the future so I can uh, compare the two molds. But uh, anywho, this is the United uh, 737 in the Blue Evolution livery. Uh, November 26208, uh, 1 400 scale, and it is 4559. And it also comes with the scimitar winglets. Wow, yeah, a lot of 737s. Um, we have. The final one on the list is the Enter Air, Enter Air, 737-800 in its normal livery. I believe Enter, Enter Air is a ch either a charter airline or a regular airline, I don't know. I know it's a Polish airline because of the registration, which is Sierra Papa, Papa Echo, Sierra Golf. Uh, it is the Enter Air, 737-800. I know this is going to be popular with you Polish collectors or European collectors as Enter Air. They do fly to a lot of holiday slash leisure destinations. Uh, around Europe so this is definitely gonna be a popular uh, aircraft uh, with uh, European collectors uh, the registration is Sierra Papa Echo Sierra Golf the scale is 1 to 400 the price is 4559 uh, and it has of course the scimitar winglets and there's a lot of 1 to 400 aircraft um, we actually have bundles of aircraft we have three a few 50s uh, two eighty, uh, two seventy seven nines, two seven, three seven fifty seven two hundreds, and three seven thirty seven eight hundreds. So it's kind of like a bundle release. Um, it's pretty interesting. And that just concludes this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss one of my videos, and comment down below what you thought of the video and if you're gonna get any of these models or not. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, 